contaminate the skin. It may happen only in a small area to begin with, but eventually that will just keep creeping. And uh, eventually, you'll end up with an issue like this, where the whole bottom on the outside skin is separated from the floor and the inside skin. And you may as well do this job. <laughs> so, there are ways around that. And uh, in production, what we've gone to is infusing the parts so that all of the curves, all of the areas in these uh, core areas are filled with resin. So everything's completely contained. And you may actually end up with uh, some puncture for one core, core area, one little block, but it'll never travel very far. It, you know, might get to the next block, but it will only be about an area that big. It's easy to repair. The water never has any area to travel through. In this style of construction, this was built. This boat was built over a male tool, so the inside skins went down on the part first, and then the core was put down into a putty. And no matter how well you do it, even if you vacuum back the core onto these skins, there's still going to be channels in that core. So. Water can get either get in there from the outside through uh, uh, through a hull that's not properly bedded, or from the inside skin if there's been a screw put into the inside skin that to hold some fitting or some wire away or some little fitting or bulkhead or some other part in there. Water gets in there. You take it out.